What's up fellow Asus 1215N users? Um, I know I haven't been able to make any videos lately, and that's mainly because I was on vacation, if you didn't know. Um, so, anyways, to make up for that, I'm going to do a little special thing right now. It's not a game, but it may be something better for you. It is how to overclock your Asus 1215N. Now, this is a informational video, and I'm not even sure if that's a word, but it's for your information, it's to inform you, it's not telling you to do that, so if you screw up your computer in some way by like not following my instructions or like whatever, I am not to blame, neither are the people who make the programs to do this. Anyways, with that out of the way, let's do, let's do this. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry for the steady, for the shaky cam, uh, because it's because I haven't been able to set up my tripod with my new camera. So anyways, um, and hopefully this will be a little bit more, a little bit uh, rely more re reliable than just some random dude that you don't know with a little shaky cam and it's all buzzy and you don't know what's going on. This is uh, relatively simple to do, so let's, it's noob friendly, so let's go ahead and do this. Um, get right into it. There's two programs you need to do this. One for the CPU to overclock the CPU and the other for the to overclock the GPU. So let's start out with the CPU. And this is called set FSB. It will ask you for your permission to open it up and so we press yes. And there it is. It's this little itty bitty program. Um so what you need first thing to do with this and if you don't know I am using 2.2134.98 of this version of this thing and it works what I'm doing it works with this version anyways let's see one of the things that's really important is the clock generator so that needs to match up with your computer and its specifications so you have to choose um, ICS 9LPR427AGLF and that's what you need to choose for that that's very important and to start up the process and let me put this back down to start up the process you press get FSB you click that and all this shows and right now it shows 407 slash 760 and let's go ahead and put it to the safest amount you can do and the highest amount so that would be see right now right over there is 1804.3 megahertz and that is how fast your your um, computer is this is for your Intel Atom which is a dual core 1.8 gigahertz Atom so to actually increase this we are going to increase it to 2.2 gigahertz, which is the maximum safest you can, which is the maximum uh, one that you can do safely. So to get it to that, we have to get this all the way up to 561. This little thing on the bar, 561. There we go. And to do that, and make sure another important thing is to make sure your computer, the the hybrid engine is set to um, auto high performance or less do not do not put it to the highest performance because it may cause a crash so I have mine set on auto high, auto high performance not like insane performance and stuff like that because that actually slightly overclocks your computer your atom so anyway and then this ratio thing won't work out so we're gonna press set FSB after that my computer is now 2.2 gigahertz and that's for that and I like to keep that one open just in case and now we zoom out for this now this one is a more official program this is actually the, from the NVIDIA control panel it's in the NVIDIA control panel it's the system tools which uh, I downloaded earlier on let's see um, I think it's up here. Yes, 6.06 .06 NVIDIA System Tools. I downloaded that one. I'll be putting these downloads in the description. And let's see. Right here 
is you click on performance under performance you click on device settings and it'll lead you to this this will be a bunch bunch of um, random numbers if you don't know um, so the maximum you can set a a ion 2 is its graphic its clock speed is to 525 uh, 535 megahertz so but that means you also have to set all these other options according to ratios now I'll be able, I'll be telling you how to do this and very specifically how to do this so that you won't have to guess all the ratios and everything so on this thing you'll have the factory <coughs> shipped frequencies and the custom so you set it to custom and then I have a saved profile so these are the things that you need to do 535 right there 535 megahertz in this one this is a graphics clock and then in the next one, it is 900, 900, because these are on uh, actual ratios that I can't remember, but I have my settings saved. And then this last one, that the middle one was the memory clock. This last one is the processor clock, and we will set that one to 1400, so 1400. Zero, zero. So the first one is 535, the second one is 900, and the last one is 1400 megahertz. Now press apply. Oops, sorry about that. Now you press apply right there in the corner. Apply. So my computer now has a core speed of 535 megahertz, and it has, uh, and its, its um, atom is up, is um, overclocked to. 2.2 gigahertz and that is how you set that's how you overclock the Asus 1215N and now this is <laughs> seven minutes of me talking about how to overclock it now this will not show any gameplay and I probably won't do any videos on how to I, I probably won't do any videos with it overclocked this is just this is just to show you guys it and see my computer is completely fine just make sure you have it plugged in you have the thing set to 5 you have the thing set to auto high performance or under that instead of like the highest performance and make sure that you don't close it like that <laughs> close it and leave it on hibernate because that sometimes causes crashes and uh, another thing is um, what else? I was, yes, it doesn't get that hot, and it doesn't get that hot. I've left it on, and I've played games for like three hours straight with it overclocked. I, would, I wouldn't suggest leaving these as your settings, because, um, I wouldn't suggest leaving it as your settings, just that, no, just leave it at that, because, you know, the thing, if you close it and crashes, if you do that, so I would suggest only doing this just before you play a game and then turning it off right after you do the game. So if your computer like turns off like on a if someone turns off your computer while it's set, it's okay because everything will set to normal if it turns off. So if it crashes for other reasons or not um not related to this, it'll set it all the way back. And if it, your computer gets too hot, this computer will not, like, die or anything. It will just um, underclock itself. And then so, anyways, if you just turn it off, if it turns off, it'll be fine. I've done it before several times, and your stuff will be back to normal. And so, that is how to overclock your Asus 1215N. And there was one last thing I was gonna say. Oh yeah, I have actually have a new channel. If you made it through this mat this long of the video, I have another channel, and I'll put that in the description too. It's just random shenanigans I do, and it's uh, I've done like a I already have a video up that's me in the airport. But I'll let you see that if you want to. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this, and I uh, use this carefully. Don't 
like go crazy with all these settings just use the exact settings that I use and you should be fine if you choose to do this this is for your information this is not telling you to do this and I'm not forcing you to do this and so if anything goes wrong it's not my fault okay so anyways um, I've said I've led off to the end of this video so many times so I'll just cut it out right now and see you guys later for an actual gameplay video